we want to determine if the two lines passing through the given points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. To determine this, we will first determine the slopes of the lines passing through the given points. Then if the slopes are equal, the two lines are parallel, given the two lines are not the same. If the slopes are negative reciprocals of one another, then the two lines are perpendicular. And if the slopes are not equal nor negative reciprocals of one another, the answer will be neither. To determine the slopes, we will use the slope formula, which is the change of y divided by the change of x. Or if we have ordered pairs, we have the quantity y sub two minus y sub one divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one. So for the first line, to keep things organized, let's let the first ordered pair be x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair be x sub two comma y sub two. And we'll call the slope of the first line m sub one. m sub one is equal to the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, which is three minus five, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one, which is one minus negative four. Simplifying, three minus five is negative two, divided by one minus negative four is the equivalent to one plus four, which is equal to five. The slope of the first line is negative two fifths. And now we need to find the slope of the second line, which we will call m sub two. And again, to keep things organized, let's let the first ordered pair be x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair be x sub two comma y sub two. The slope is equal to the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, which is negative two minus negative seven, divided by the quantity seven minus five. Simplifying, negative two minus negative seven is equivalent to negative two plus seven, which is positive five, divided by seven minus five, which is two. So the slope of the second line is five halves. And notice how m1 and m2 are negative reciprocals, and therefore the two lines are perpendicular. To find the negative reciprocal of negative two fifths, we interchange the numerator and denominator and then change the sign, which does give us positive five halves. Another way to check to see if we have negative reciprocals is to verify that m sub one times m sub two is equal to negative one. And here we have negative two fifths times five halves, which equals negative 10 tenths, which is negative one. So another way to verify we have negative reciprocals is to multiply the two slopes and if the product is negative one, the slopes are negative reciprocals, and therefore the two lines are perpendicular. And let's verify this graphically. The first line is graphed in red, passing through the two given points. The second line is graphed in blue, passing through the two given points. And notice how the two lines do intersect and form a 90 degree angle or right angle. Verifying the two lines are perpendicular. I hope you found this helpful.